Africa, what do we actually know about this vast and mysterious continent? Did you know that most people have a distorted perception of Africa's size due to flawed mapping? Is it true that Africa is set to split in two and this process has already begun? Today, we'll embark on a journey through the plains of Africa to unfold the recent mystery that it is splitting apart. But before that, if you have any preferable topics that you want us to cover next, let us know in the comments below. The person whose topic piques our interest will get a shout out in that video. Without further delay, let's dig in. How did Africa come to be? Approximately every 500 million years, Earth's ceaseless dance of tectonic plates orchestrates the assembly of supercontinents, enveloping nearly the entire landmass. The most recent chapter in this geological saga is Pangaea, whose breakup unfolded during the Jurassic period, spanning 190 to 135 million years ago. About 19 million years ago, as Africa drifted northward, a pivotal juncture occurred, firmly established by scientists. A sprawling isthmus materialized, cleaving the ancient Tethys Ocean, functioning as a bridge connecting continents. Reflecting on Gondwana before its disintegration, one can discern the contours of Africa, suggesting a persistent shape across earlier supercontinent cycles. Yet, delving further into the past renders our comprehension hazier. There was a juncture in Earth's chronicles when the Africa we recognize today hadn't materialized, coalescing from disparate colossal fragments. The relics of these monumental processes linger on Africa's body, evident in towering mountain ranges and plateaus, where colliding tectonic plates forced substantial rock masses skyward. However, literal cracks mar certain regions of Africa, serving as a testament to the ongoing geological convulsions shaping the continent. As we navigate the annals of Earth's history, the tale of Africa's formation unfolds in mountainous landscapes and fractures, testament to the ancient choreography of continents. A gigantic rift. In 2018, the media buzzed with alarming headlines of a potential continent-splitting chasm in Africa. Though initially suggestive of yellow journalism, the reports held truth. Originating in Kenya, Ethiopia, and Tanzania, striking footage depicted entire countries undergoing visible fractures. Aerial views captured a massive rift cutting through landscapes, some segments spanning tens of meters. Attempts to fill the gaps underscored the severity of the situation. These rifts, far from isolated incidents, signify an ongoing geological transformation. Beneath the continent, tectonic processes are crafting a new geological structure, a revelation that, while not unexpected by scientists, unfolded more rapidly and visibly than anticipated. Africa is, quite literally, in the throes of a dynamic geological evolution. This naturally raises a question. Will Africa eventually split apart? And if so, when will this happen? Will Africa eventually split? To answer this question, it's essential to look at the region's tectonic plates. The vast chasm is giving rise to a depression known as the East African Rift. African Rift. The African Rift, stretching approximately 7,000 kilometers from the Red Sea to Mozambique, is a global geological phenomenon intersecting nine countries, Mozambique, Malawi, Tanzania, Democratic Republic of the Congo, Burundi, Rwanda, Uganda, Kenya, and Ethiopia. This rift, bifurcated around Lake Victoria, initiated around 35 million years ago, originating between Arabia and the Horn of Africa. Heat surges from the asthenosphere, the upper, more pliable mantle section, triggered its formation between Kenya and Ethiopia. The presence of eastern and western rifts, along with seismic zones and volcanoes, signals Africa's gradual split along multiple lines. The cumulative movement surpasses 6.35 millimeters per year, portraying a dynamic landscape shaped by the intricate interplay of tectonic forces over millions of years. As for Africa's potential split up, numerous theories exist on how it might happen. Scenarios for Africa's split up. According to one scenario, a significant portion of the Somali plate will separate from the rest of the African continent, forming a sea between them. Based on some scientific findings, this new landmass will encompass Somalia, Eritrea, and Djibouti, as well as the eastern parts of Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, and Mozambique. 
An alternative scenario suggests that only the eastern parts of Tanzania and Mozambique would break away. With this being said, the vast majority of the current African continent will remain intact. At the same time, a fairly large separate chunk of land will emerge. Will it be considered an island, or will our descendants view it as a small continent? Perhaps we'll find out in about 50 million years. In the end, Africa might not split at all. Let's not drag this video any longer. Make sure to like, subscribe, and press the bell icon not to miss any future updates. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.